Warren Buffett, one of the richest men in the world, famously once said that the number one rule of investing is to don't lose money. Okay, now you're probably thinking, great, James, what can this old geezer teach me about fitness? Well, he can actually teach you a hell of a lot about fitness because there's so much wisdom packed into these words here. And if you understand uh, what I'm about to talk about, the number one rule in fitness. If you understand this on a deep level, not only is it gonna transform your results uh, in fitness, but also in business, in your career, and whatever else, whatever area of your life where you're, you're not getting the results that you want right now, I guarantee you, understanding this concept uh, is gonna completely transform your results, okay? So what does he mean? Well, he's talking about minimizing losses, okay? Rather than trying to maximize your gains as much as possible, just try to not lose money, okay? And it's the, exactly the same in fitness. And I've told this story before, but in case you're new here, I'm gonna tell it again, okay? When I first got into fitness, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. And for like one, two years, I really didn't make, make much progress at all. But then I started to, you know, uh, learn uh, and teach myself and, you know, figure things out along the way. And then what I did, right, is I would do everything perfectly Monday to Friday. So uh, I would get good sleep every night. Uh, I would go to the gym every single day, Monday to Friday. My nutrition would be on point. And I was really, really good Monday to Friday. But Friday evening would roll around and that was it. I would just go <laughs> all out. You know, it'd be lots of alcohol, late night, pizzas, kebabs. I wouldn't get in till like 6 a.m. Sometimes I would do this Friday and Saturday. Sometimes it would just be Friday or Saturday. But all that hard work that I'd done all week was just completely like uh, just ruined in a space of 24 hours. And you know what? Monday would roll around and I would get back on track and I would do everything right again. And it, um, until it gets to the next weekend and the cycle would just, just repeat. And this went on and on and on and on and on until eventually I just got sick of not seeing the results that I wanted and then I had to make a decision as to what was more important to me. And I decided to you know, stop doing weekends like I'd been doing the weekends and I decided to get serious about you know, the things that were important to me and, and fitness was one of them, okay? Now, what you've got to understand is when you start in your fitness journey, there is no straight line to success because if you were doing everything right, right now, you would already have the results that you want. And I talked about this in, in yesterday's video, but if you are not where you are right now, it's because you're not doing the right actions which are gonna get you there. You're not the person who's capable of having the physique that you want. So what you're gonna understand is you're gonna have to change and you're gonna have to do things differently. Now I can give you the best plan in the world. I can give you the best uh, training program, the best nutrition plan. I can tell you exactly when and how and what, and I can give you the whole blueprint of step by step of how you can get to your goals. But what you've got to understand is that we live in an imperfect world and shit happens, okay? We have lives to live, we've got bills to pay, things happen, you know, life gets in the way sometimes. And the temptation is, as soon as you fall off track a little bit, which is inevitable, by the way, even me uh, at the stage I'm at right now, I still go off track sometimes. The temptation is when you go off track, that's it, you just throw the towel in and you go all out, okay? And I, I used to do this, uh, I still even do this now sometimes, right? Is I would say something wouldn't happen, it would be suboptimal. For example, the day that I missed the YouTube upload, It'd have been very easy for me to just say, ah, oh, you know what, I'm not gonna do it anymore, but I just get straight back on track. Maybe that's not a good example, okay? But there's been times, uh, especially with my nutrition, where I've just, you know, uh, I've gone out for some food. Uh, I've, uh, you know, my girl wanted to get dessert or something. So we've ended up getting dessert, we've ended up getting ice cream, we've ended up eating cakes. And at this point, I'm already way over what I was supposed to be eating. And the temptation there and then is to just double down and go hard and just completely wreck things. And what that does is if you cheat a little bit, oh my God, it kind of opens the floodgates, right? Especially if you've been dieting or cutting and you're in a calorie deficit, you just, it, the doors are open and then it's just game time, okay? But that is the last thing you want to do. That is the absolute last thing you want to do, okay? So the, the number one rule in fitness, I would say, 
is to don't take a step back. Not every day, you're not always gonna be able to take a step forward. And I talked about this yesterday, but if every single day you're just taking a little step forward, every single day, just a little bit closer to your goal, every single day, eventually you're gonna get there. You know, it, it might take you, uh, you know, one year or two years or five years, but who cares how long it takes if you're having fun and you're making progress and you're doing it in a sustainable way where you're not overly restricting yourself. You know, as long as you're gonna get there, it's okay. But usually what happens is, is people just go flat out at the beginning. You know, it's the new year, new me mentality where new year rolls around and you're like, okay, this is the time I'm gonna get fit. And they go in the gym and they're hitting the weights every single day. They're doing an hour of cardio every single day. They're eating too little food and they just run themselves into the ground and it gets to like, you know, one week in and they quit, okay? So when you inevitably fall off track, because look, it's gonna happen, just we're humans and life gets in the way sometimes. When you fall off track, just get straight back on, okay? Don't, uh, you know, spit your dummy out. Don't go like all out attack and just completely take steps back. Just minimize the loss. Okay, no worries, you had a bad meal. Maybe you had two bad meals. Maybe you missed a day at the gym. No worries, just go tomorrow. I've talked about this before, but a, a really good uh, framework to live by is the rule of two. If you miss the training session today, just don't miss tomorrow, okay? It's the rule of two, never have more than two days off, okay? If you miss today, don't miss tomorrow, okay? And if you do that, and you come into uh, you know this fitness, uh, if you start your fitness journey with the mindset that you are gonna mess up sometimes, when you inevitably mess up, well, uh, you're just in a much better position because you were already expecting it and it's not a surprise. But if you're like, right, this is the time, I'm gonna do every single thing perfectly, as soon as things are just slightly less than perfect, the temptation is for you to just throw everything out, okay? And that is what uh, you know. I don't want to happen to you. And all you really need to do is just zoom out a little bit because it's very easy to get stuck in the weeds and focus on like maybe your scale weight for this week, it's not been moving, uh, maybe it's been going in the wrong direction, or you know maybe you feel like you're not getting stronger in the gym or you're not putting muscle on, or you might feel like in the short term that you're not making any progress. But I guarantee if you just zoom out a little bit and think more long term, you will see a general trend of progress if you're doing things correctly, okay? And that is, uh, you know, what a coach can help you with, uh, besides other things, of course, is just zooming out and having a, a just a longer term picture. Because, say if there's two people, right? One guy, he does everything perfectly, 10 out of 10, training, nutrition, sleep, lifestyle, everything, but he just does it for one month, okay? And you've got another dude who is a seven out of 10, on everything our average is seven out of ten okay but he does that for 12 months who is gonna make more progress over long term easily the guy who does it seven out of ten because he's been doing it for a lot longer so the trick is to just stay in the game stay consistent minimize your losses don't lose money okay don't take steps back and if you can't take a step forward today just take a side step okay just whatever you do don't take steps back don't do what I did and take two steps forward during the week and then two steps back as soon as you mess up, okay? And I guarantee you, if you did this, okay, you are guaranteed to succeed because you're gonna reach plateaus. There's gonna be times where it's gonna get tough. You're gonna get tested. For example, yesterday, uh, my calories are quite low at the minute and I just felt like super demotivated. I was like even struggling to thinking about, oh, I've got to make a video and then I've got to reply to all these messages. And I've got to do the, these client check-ins and it just, everything felt like a burden. And it was just because, you know, my calories are so low and it's just, it's just getting tough, right? And I was like, just focus on doing the tasks that I need to do and don't like, the temptation in my mind was, oh, I'm going to order loads of food, okay? And I was like, no, don't do that just order your normal food or just go a little bit over and don't mess up and see how you feel the next day, okay? And I've spoken about this before. It's like, don't quit today, quit tomorrow, just put it off. Sure enough, today rolls around and I feel pretty good. I don't feel as bad as yesterday, you know? So if you mess up, which by the way, you are going to mess up at some point, 
just accept it just relax don't go hard on yourself don't go completely overboard and just throw everything out just get back on track the next day and i guarantee if you do that over the long term you will be completely unrecognizable with your physique with your mindset uh, in your career business whatever you care about okay guys and if you want to take you know the shortest path to your success then work with a coach you know maybe it's a fitness coach maybe you've got a goal uh, you know a business goal or whatever hire a coach a coach is the, the fastest way to get from where you are right now to where you want to go and yes I am biased obviously I'm a coach but I don't know why you wouldn't hire a coach if you have the means and if you got your motivation is there to really change your life and get in the best shape of your life or you know grow your business or whatever it is that you want to do then just get it done and hire a coach guys so if you're interested in fitness coaching you can head to jamesweetland.com for coaching and other than that i'll talk to you in the next one